This is Stone Shard. It's a turn-based, tactical, roguelike sort of game. Um, it's a little bit more developed as an RPG than your typical roguelike, uh, at least classic roguelikes, the more purest roguelikes. But it's still also because, um, you know, you're taking one turn, at one action at a time, one turn at a time, and so are the enemies um, sort of in time with you. It has a little bit of that, um, uh, what's that word? Whatever. It's more like a roguelike than a lot of other things that use the name roguelike. Still would not pass the classical definition, but I'm not going to get into that kind of pedantry. So I've played through the tutorial, and I've gotten to this point, and I keep failing at the next step. So you might just be about to see a horrible disaster. Uh, so I am this character. I've got an inventory that is full of stuff I don't need. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go unload it all into a bookshelf. One of the features of this game is the fact that you have no control over when the game saves. And that can be a little bit of a challenge because the game happened to save right before I wanted to do a bunch of inventory garbage. And so because I keep dying and coming back to this point, I keep having to do the same inventory garbage again and again and again. And I'm about done with that. But, oh, it's okay. So anyway, we're going to go through. We're going to take things off this bookcase. Collecting a bunch of stuff. These are the scrolls that'll help me identify magic items that I find, presuming I don't just die immediately. Here's another one. Doo -doo -doo. So I know why they sent me to this room, because... This is the last room in the tutorial that actually is, like, scripted. The next stage is procedurally generated. It's different every single time I play it. And I guess they just wanted to start me somewhere that hadn't been procedurally generated yet so that I could get all ready before jumping into the random scary stuff. So I've decided to equip myself with an axe and a shield. Uh, on one of my runs, I got a really nice bearded axe that was pretty cool. I hope I'm finding something that good. Okay, let's pick this lock. So you'll notice when I move, I'm taking these discrete steps. Each of those is a turn. And if there's an enemy around, I'll have to make those moves one at a time. For right now, because I'm by myself, it lets me make multiples in a row. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I've got a Militia Club. It does 20 crushing damage. It doesn't seem as good as my Peasant Hatchet. Except it looks like it costs less to swing. It does more armor damage has a day's chance. You know what? Actually, I haven't tried this before. Let's try this. It's only one less damage, so it's not a big deal. Let's grab these enchantment scrolls. You know what? What'll make it better? If I use an enchantment scroll on it. So now, its fumble chance is lower, counter chance is higher. Kind of a subtle difference here. Let's uh, enchant some other stuff. Let's uh, enchant my doublet, maybe? Or my Fang amulet, or let's do my shield. Oh, so I get more unholy resistance and intoxication resistance, but it's tiny little numbers that I'm probably not going to notice. One thing that I do really appreciate in, in games is when they make sure that the number is always big enough that you can always tell when something's happened. All right, let's open this door. Hop down here. Oh, rat. Okay, so he's right next to me, so he can actually attack me immediately. Oh, he dodges me. Great. Okay, he's dead now. Cool. Sometimes there's stuff in these crates, but usually not. Actually, I think it's often a waste of time to be busting crates open. Okay, so there's a rat. It just saw me. I've actually got my tutorial magic spell. Oh, it's out of range. Okay, well, let's hit the space bar to wait a turn. Okay, it's moving towards me. Now it's in range. I think that killed it. Yep. Bunch of dead bodies. Oh, wait, there's a shelf I didn't search. Let's go search that. Nope, nothing. Never mind. All right, go up here. Oh, it's locked. Well, I've got a lockpick. You are also locked. Oh, so each time I fail, that's when I lose a lockpick. Ooh. 
Oh, this is my first hood. I've never seen one of these before. Oh, I'm so cute now. I look like a Keebler elf. Hmm. So far, no really tough enemies. There was one where I just got swarmed by tough enemies right out of the gate, which was hilarious. But looks like they're kind of being gentle with me this time around. Oh, another shelf I forgot to search. It's, uh, it's a rag. I can use it as a band-aid. Cool. All right, well, let's head over here. This guy, oh, I'm thirsty. Okay, so this game takes its survival seriously. You have to actually drink and eat to keep your character healthy. Okay, so this level wasn't too tough. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, oh, this is that bearded axe. Okay, well, I can get a helmet on. That's pretty cool. Fancier clothes. If I wanted a bow and arrow, I could have one. Um, eventually, you know what? Let's grab the bow and arrow. Let's switch that axe. That axe, I think, does more damage. Just barely, but, you know. I can enchant it, too. Critical efficiency plus 25%. That is a sizable number. And an unidentified potion that we will now identify. Life drain. Allows you to drain health with your physical attacks. Okay, that's useful. Some health salve. An antitoxin. Some bread to eat. That's good. An old contract. I think I read this before, so I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, wait, I forgot to pick up the arrows. The bow's not going to be worth much. So if I want to ping something from afar... The bow doesn't do a lot of damage compared to my magic spell. So, let's see. I like the, how they sort of only reveal things just step by step. Oh, this door's already open. That's a little scary. Oh, I can only attack it now. Now that I'm out of... Okay, this is just a hatchet. Can't be as good, right? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep my felling axe. Oh, enemy. Whoops. Okay. Can I fire this enemy? Yes. Okay, so now I've got four turns before I can use that spell again, so... If I can stay ahead of the zombie, or whatever this thing is, I can keep casting the spell at it without getting too close. Oh, crap, another guy's coming. Okay. So now I'll cast the spell at this guy. So you know, each time I do something, then the enemies can move. Then I move, then the enemies move. This isn't like the tactical games where each turn you have a complex series of moves you can do, and then the enemy has a complex series of moves. It's not like Aldrich Blood that way. This is much more like um, Crypt of the Necrodancer. That's the game I was trying to come up with, where it's like, it's just, you know, you make a move, they make a move. You make a move, they make a move. Um, all right, so if I can stay away from this guy long enough... I can hit him with some fire. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Is he healing? Stop healing, you jerk. Oh, I just hit the obstacle instead. I'm going to run out of mana at some point. Let's shoot him without an obstacle. Okay. Let's hit him one more time, then we'll go melee. There we go. Perfect. He dropped a battle cleaver. Is it as good as my current weapon? No. It's in bad shape. Well, let's keep this militia club, then, because I've enchanted it. It's probably worth more if I ever find a store. Ooh, unidentified sword. Hmm. 
well. Okay, let's drop that. Let's use this to identify it. So it does a little less... Okay, it's in bad shape. But it actually does more damage than it should. It doesn't penetrate as well. It's a slight counter chance, but it's less... It uses less energy. Eh. I think it's not as good. I'm keeping my axe. So because to close the inventory, I either have to reach over to the uh, I key or hit this, hit the, um, oh, there's a spider on my desk. Get away, you jerk. Go somewhere else. Yeah, go bother my children in their sleep. Okay, anyway. What was I talking about? Oh, I forgot. Ooh, healer staff. Oh, staffs are huge. Never mind. Okay, so... Bats are weak. Some money. Whoa, I never had money before. That's pretty cool. Wait, did I search this bookcase? Oh, crap. Some kind of... What is that? Some kind of vampire? Um, oh, he can hit me from afar. That's not good. So each time I shoot him, I have to hold still, and then he can often gain ground on me. <laughs> We're doing that thing where you go back and forth across the kitchen table. That's great. Okay, I'm... Oh, I'm low on mana. All right, well, it looks like I can't actually hit him, so I'm going to let him... Oh, wait. I was going to stand there and let him come to me so I can hit him first? It looks like he's got a long distance attack. Oh crap, I'm in trouble. Can I tell how he's doing? His health is at 20%. Okay, so I might be able to beat him. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, all right, so my health is at 94. Did I, wait, why did I, I was in trouble before. Why did I, interesting. Okay, so look at my health. Okay, my right arm and leg. So this is how nerdy this game is. My right hand and my right leg took some extra damage. So they're affecting my health right now. If they get much worse, they could actually I take on I could take on like bad status effects because of those, and I would need to put apply bandages or splints to them. It's got this whole injury system. It kind of reminds me of Project Zomboid. It's very very detailed. Um, okay, what, Katzbalger? Interesting, oh, it's very expensive. Yeah, let's use this. Get rid of that mace. And dark ale, makes you drunk. Not right now, I think I need to keep all my wits about me. Oh crap, another one of these guys. I'm nervous. Okay, probably my last chance to do that. This bat is going to annoy me. Alright, I can guess fire at the bat. Whew, okay. Combat's over. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna re I'm gonna regenerate this health once some time has passed. Is that how that works? I don't feel like I fully understand the health system. But clearly, there's something about this 81 that's gonna mean something. I wonder what, what if I just what if I ate some food or hmm let's actually let's look at my injuries. Okay, none of these seem bad enough that I have to actually apply something to them. What if I use some healing salve? Okay, so I have to use it on something. Let's use it on my hand. 
Okay, it had a minor effect, but I think it just raises by one. It seemed like that effect was so minor it wasn't worth doing. So let's keep an eye on our health bar and see what it does. Ooh, roasted fatty meat. Eat it. Okay, so my character's in pain right now. Oh, so my healing efficiency is minus 15%. Fumble chance is higher. So one thing you can do is you can use this ether inhaler to reduce your pain, which reduces the sort of the, the ongoing status effect of having to deal with pain, which is hilarious to me. Let's not waste it yet. I'm probably going to get more hurt later. So Cloudhead Gaming asks what this game is. Uh, this game is called Stone Shard, and it is it's a roguelike but it's a really detailed weird roguelike um it's almost like I, i've compared it to project zomboid in its level of like trying to simulate all the things that go wrong with your body when you're attacked so i'm gonna keep investigating because i think if i go even deeper i'm just gonna be facing tougher monsters okay look my health just went up i don't see when it happened but i think just Regularly, it's take. Oh, it just went again. I think it's taking these big jumps every certain number of turns. There we go. Up to this maximum. So my maximum got lowered by the injuries that I took to my body parts. But my red bar will just go up over time. So actually, let's see here. There's one room I didn't investigate. So let's try this one out. Oh, there's a bat. It's a dead bat. I just caught fire. Well, that was unfortunate. Ooh, maybe I should have waited to heal before dealing with this guy. At least it's not one of the vampire looking dudes. It's weird because that, so that fire doesn't take a certain number of turns to burn down as far as I can tell. I think fire actually burns down in real time. So it surprised me that I could be burned by it. Because I just assumed that if it happened in real time, it couldn't be real. Okay, so that guy's down. There's cupboards. Not... F oh, crap. Who's this guy? Oh. I don't think I've seen this guy before, which makes him automatically scary. At least I got a critical hit on him. <laughs> I'm just going to carefully run away. Okay. Hit him one more time before he catches up to me. Oh, yikes. I don't know what that was. But now I'm further away from him. So I can start running again. Okay. Any one of these guys could turn out to be tougher than I expect, and I could just be dead. Okay, let's see what's in here. Buckler, huh? Is that better? I wish I could compare two things while I was in this view, but I can't. So you know what? I'm not ever using the bow and arrows. So let's just not. And one protection, two protection. Yeah, okay, so my oaken shield is better. Let's just leave that buckler alone. Oh, wait, bookcase. What could be on that bookcase? Nothing. All right, let's get out of here. This is the longest I've ever lasted in this game, so uh, I appreciate the random number generator giving me a survivable level when I decided to stream it. Maybe I should have been streaming it from the beginning. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let's have another swig and hope I eventually find more water. Ooh, I'm in a corrupted chapel now. The thing that I don't know is if I'm ever saving. You don't have any manual saves. The game decides when it's going to save. I don't know if it ever saves again after that first spot at the end of the tutorial. Is there anything here I can search? Abbott's Note. Okay, what does it say? Einer, there's some alarming news from the capital. People say that King Eppert, blessed be his name, is gravely ill and has been fighting death for a week now. Perhaps it's just rumors spread by ill-wishers? It's no secret that Edward has many of them. 
Nevertheless, we shall pray, f uh, pray the host for our monarch's swift recovery. Relay to the rest of the brothers that we will need another service tonight. Abbot Vidian. Okay. Um, it seems like something terrible has happened. I believe that the story of this involves some kind of plague. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of a Plague Tale Innocence. Who are these guys? Cloudhead Gaming, yes, I believe I got this on Steam. Okay, so apparently this is a boss battle. I didn't know we had these. I don't know what I can even do to this guy. It says destroy the statues. These things? Okay, sure. Let me take down the volume again. I wanted, I pulled it up so you could hear the, um, hear the dialogue, but yeah. Um, gross. Okay. Let me... I can't inspect the statue, so I have no idea how much damage I need to do to it. Gross. Okay, so there's blood here. Okay, good. Have I damaged it enough? Okay, that's enough. Can I... No, not quite yet. Let's just, um, oh, we got healed, what? Okay, let's see if we can get over to this other statue, oh, dang it, another zombie. Luckily, I think it only takes, yeah, one spell and one hit to take those guys out. Critical hit on a statue. Nice. Okay. Ascend! He ascends. What? Uh, what? Now I have to fight this? Okay, so I just did, what was that, 15 damage to it? It's, okay, that was 6%. So that means what? 5 damage is 2%, 5 damage is a 50th. So, it has 250 hit points. Can I hit it from here? Nope. Oh, gosh. Okay. Do I need to let it come to me? So if I, if I approach it... 
it swipes at me, and that's bad. So I have to let it come to me, otherwise I get in trouble. All right. I like how strategic this is. Like, it's all about me recognizing what's going on with this monster. Oh, and it's dazed. Oh, not for long it's not. Okay. I like a lot of my favorite tactical games. It telegraphs what it's doing in advance so that I can specifically respond to it. Okay, good. I deliberately... What? What did it just do? So I deliberately moved so that it would land next to me so I could hit it again. It's at 73%. Did it just eat part of itself to heal? Because I feel like I've done more damage to it than that. I gotta move. I'll zap. Wait. Zap. Okay, so again, right there. He's next to me. Hit him. Oh, he's eating corpses to heal. Feels like it's missing me. Now it's on fire. Cool. All right. I want to keep my distance. It's away from corpses. It's pretty down, down pretty low now. Let's move here. Okay, it gets close to me. I can hit it with that. I can hit it with this. Okay, it's going to move there. It's still close to me and it's dazed. Oh, crap, come on. Oh, I just ate another corpse. Stop eating corpses, you jerk. What? It's health is higher now? Really? All right, well, let's burn you again. And it shoots through me. And now it's around more corpses. That's not helpful. Keep my distance. I don't know what happens to me if I let that happen, but uh, it looks like I'm out of mana, so I do have to let it get close to me. So I can hit it in the face. Ugh. How do I make it stop eating the corpses? It just keeps coming back up to 43%. I'm sure that eventually my mana will come back every seven turns. Okay. Ugh. So, will any of these things help me? Let me, um, are any of these potions powerful enough? Ooh, drain health with your physical attacks. How long does that last? I think uh, the solve only restores yeah, a tiny amount of health. Um, and I think it only restores maximum health. I can use this to stop bleeding. Nothing here is going to make me survive this any better. <laughs> this will intoxicate me, so it doesn't sound like it's useful. All right, well, let's use this. Maybe that'll help me heal. Okay, I've got enough mana back. Oh, he's going after the corpses again. <gasps> Did I do it? Yes! I have many questions. Now is not the time. We have the stone shard. Let's get out of here. Is that the stone shard? That is the name of the game, so I guess uh, this is like the moment where the title should come up <laughs> early on in the game.
All right, so I'll go talk to my friends. All my belongings, my entire fortune, I'm ruined. For the love of the horse, Rainward, shut your mouth. Baron is dead. Luck is dead. So is Jorgen. And you cry over some old junk. And it's all because of you, Baron. Did you think our lads would chicken out? You could have at least told me. An easy job. Maybe some digging. You call a horde of cannibals an easy job. Are you out of your mind? Do you think I was lying to you? Gwynnell swore that the monastery had been deserted for decades. So you're saying that your Gwynnell set us up for certain death? I... I don't know. I hope not. It's some kind of mistake. This mistake cost half our men their lives. I know. I have many questions, too. And believe me, once we are done with the contract, Gwynel will answer each and every one of them. No, Varen. This is where we part. The caravan is no more. Rinward, Aruz, and I are going back to Bryn. After all these years, I've just saved your hides. All you did was save us from the trap you let us into. We always used to know where and what our jobs were. But once you started rubbing elbows with Gwynell, there was no end to our misfortune. I want to know what Gwynell is hiding, why he needs stone shards, and what these damn stone shards are to begin with. And yet, we don't have the slightest idea about anything, while well, you only care about money. But there is no paying death off. I'm done. You are free to go. But I am bound by the contract. I'll manage without you. Get lost. Okay, so... I hope the game is saving at this point? So here I am. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead. And the other half are deserters and traitors. The host be praised. At least I've got the stone shard. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Well, time to return the favor. Damn, it's been so long. Okay, what? So, okay, so this game is still in beta, it's still like in early access. So what am I, why am I selecting a character? Is that so? Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. We need horses. Does this game have a party? Did I just play through a single player sequence that is actually nothing like the rest of the game? Is that why I just chose another character? We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. We came to an agreement. We'll fulfill three contracts for them, and they'll give us a cart and two horses. Don't worry about the contracts. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with the undead and brigands. The Elder will give you the details. You should go to him right away. No time to waste. Or am I playing one character at a time and I've just switched characters? Ah, I almost forgot. Here's a map of the area. You need it more than I do. Okay. You can also ask the innkeeper about local events. He is a talkative kind. I'm sure he'll answer any of your questions. Off you go then. Good luck. Okay, so now I'm this character? Fascinating. Okay, so... I want to play a bunch of games tonight, so I'm just going to assume the game has saved at this point and that I'm not about to just lose everything I just did. So I'm going to quit to the main menu 
and hopefully that's fine. I wish you would tell me how long it's been since my last autosave or something like that. But... Anyway... That was Stone Shard. So... That was the first time I've ever done that well, uh, so it was very well timed for the stream. Um, the game is fascinating. Uh, it's got some very complicated stuff going on uh, as you sort of get to know the game mechanics. But it looks like it just keeps getting more interesting as you go. I expected it just to be level after level after level as this old man, but no, it, it blows up and gets even bigger after you complete that first dungeon, so it'll be really interesting to see where this game goes from here. Anyway, let's uh, wrap it up with a couple of videos and a subscribe button and all that stuff. And we'll go and play yet another game.